Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Zeppelin and today I wanted to make a quick video uh, sort of talking about the things that I have said in the past about the headset that I'm wearing right now, the SteelSeries Arctis Pro headset with its game deck. More specifically, I want to cover the things that I said about it in regards to its sound performance with the PlayStation 5. Now, I have made a couple of videos on this channel already discussing this headset and also discussing the PlayStation 5 and discussing the problems that the two had both with each other and then with their own feels with the PlayStation 5 having issues with production and getting the console into people's hands and the scalper issues with it. And then I made videos talking about the headset, talking about how the PlayStation 5 did not have an optical input, therefore making the sound a little worse, in fact, compared to the PS4, because you could plug straight into the PS4 with an optical cable instead of the USB, and the optical had a better sound, as that's what the headset was designed to be used on. So I'm not quite sure how long this video will be, but when it just comes to the Steel Series Arctis Pro in general, now that it has been a good few months since I made those videos, I want to tell you where I am at with the headset. Now, I don't actually play the PlayStation 5 much anymore. I finally gave it up and I threw it down in the living room for my family and I game mainly on PC. However, on the PC, I still get updates to the drivers that would need to be done anyway in order for the headset to perform properly in the PS5 if there was an update to fix it. Now, I think I might have touched on this in the last video that I made, but there was an update that was made that definitely made the headset sound better. It made it sound louder and have a crisper bass and they added on the DAC at least a PlayStation 5 option. However, as far as I'm aware, that PlayStation 5 option was just for convenience on knowing what you're selecting rather than actually making any changes to the headset itself. As far as I'm aware, the SteelSeries Arctis Pro with this game DAC still does not utilize 3D audio. Or maybe it does. To be honest, I've done a lot of looking at this and it's been very unclear as to what 3D audio is and who can run it. Is it a thing that PlayStation implements across all headsets or is it something that is PlayStation exclusive to their own line of headsets? Because I have read that 3D audio is only to be used on PlayStation's own stuff, but I have also read that things like the SteelSeries Arctis Pro incorporate the 3D audio from the console into the headset itself. I honestly don't know what to believe anymore and it's all very confusing. All I can really do in this video is tell you my personal experience of how I feel the headset is now on PC and that will probably translate to how it is in the PS5 because on PC I'm also plugging in through a USB cable so I feel like I can give a pretty good uh, overall summary of how the headset is sounding. And in short, sounds really good. I mean, for a long time, I was looking at getting a, a Bayer Dynamic DT770 headset moving to studio headsets. But what I found from the Steel series was actually a surprising amount of bass and depth to things I was listening to, such as both music and gaming, and also the convenience of having something like a Steel Series headset with sort of gamers in mind with these headsets. They are more designed for convenience for the likes of streaming and they're very good a lot of my videos in the past where i've talked about this headset i am listing the problems and don't don't get me wrong there still is problems there was problems with the integration and i'm not going to shy away from those problems but looking back on those videos the one thing that i think i can say is that those problems that i the way I talked about them seem to be too much of a highlight over just the actual quality of the headset like take all those problems away and what you're left with is still probably one of the best headsets out on the market at the moment for gamers one that is close to an audiophile level headset that you will still get a lot of great use out of i was just really disappointed at the time that there was very poor integration onto next gen systems from this headset as there's even still nothing really come out that really embraces next gen in terms of audio technology which especially when it comes to the PS5 and its release, it was really pushed to us that we would be experiencing next gen audio. They raved, they ranted and raved about the 3D audio, and at least from the Steel Series Arctis Pro perspective, I heard no difference. And if anything, off the bat, it was worse. But don't let that take away from the fact that this is a great headset. If you can get it used, if you can get it for a hundred between a hundred and a hundred and fifty euro. Or pound or whatever you're getting a good deal and you are getting a very good headset 
now in saying that you can get a dt7070 or a dt1990 a bare dynamic headset used or new for close between 100 to 150 as well i think you can get new for around 150. now i know you need like audio dax to plug those headset or headphones into to really gain the full to get to get as much as you can out of that headset so that will definitely ramp up the price to well over 200 but i have never tried the dt 70s, 70s and 1990s but i am tempted to get them just to see how they run because i have heard so many good things about studio headsets just being a league above any gaming headset if i do end up getting one of these headsets i will make a review and let you know whether or not you should maybe look into investing in one of those or stick with the gaming headsets and stick with the steel series but what i will say as of now is that i have not tried astros so i cannot speak for astros I have tried razors and they're really good but i have had problems with razor in the past so i'm reluctant to recommend them all i can tell you is that despite the problems the steel series arctis pro headset with its game deck it's probably the best headset i've ever used and from what i still see on other reviewers channels and platforms it is still one of the best in the market so do not shy away from getting it anyway i know that was a rather shorter video this is kind of me getting back into recording this is the first actual recording i have done on this channel in nearly two months so i'm, I'm a bit rusty getting back into it and i'm going recording a few more videos probably today or tomorrow so apologies for the short video i will get back into into the run of things and there'll be more videos coming to this channel soon expect one on the playstation 5 really soon i believe that's the next one i'm going to record i want to clarify some things that i said in my playstation 5 problems video and how the console is performing now that we are over halfway into 2021 so thank you very much for watching remember if you like the video please click like hit subscribe if you have any comments any questions whether you agree with me disagree with me make sure to leave it in the comments below i try to respond as best i can to them provided they're relatively constructive things to respond to and if you want to see other clips or when i go live anything like that all my other content there i have a facebook which is brand new tiktok which i'll be adding way more to a twitter where i'm most active and my instagram and they are all going to be linked in the bio below along with my twitch which i'd highly recommend you come over to my twitch i'm going to be streaming much more regularly much more different games now that i've upgraded my equipment and it's going to be really fun so i hope you all enjoyed the video i hope you found it informative and i will see you in the next one peace